G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number seven of The Fine Art of Distraction. So, with today's episode, I'm going to be doing something completely different. But first, I actually just want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to all of you guys out there that watched my last episode where I done the wedding cake stuck canvas. Um, I literally just looked at how many views I've reached just before I hit record and it's over 3,300 views and that just absolutely blows my mind that so many of you out there actually took the time to watch my video. Um, I literally started this channel um, to distract myself from um, my chronic pain and also my depression. Um, hence why I called the channel The Fine Art of Distraction. And I'll tell you what, this has been the best distraction I could ever ask for. Knowing that all of you guys out there took the time to watch it and I received so many like comments and messages from so many people, it just, it blows my mind. So thank you so much. You all are amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, so in um, that episode where I did the stack canvas, I mentioned at the end that I was gonna um, do a tutorial on how to build a Lazy Susan. That's exactly what I'm gonna do in this episode. Well, I actually already have I've done it. <laughs> this is the first time I'm actually doing the intro after I've actually already filmed um, what I've done. Um, but I'm actually glad that it happened this way because I just have to tell you, it's a little bit of a long one today. Um, it's over an hour and I apologize that it's so long. Um, but when you watch it, you'll understand why it took so long. Um, I actually had an idea quite a while ago, um, to build a lazy Susan that had a leveling system on it, because as all of you fluid artists out there know, when you're trying to pour paint on the middle of your canvas and, um, either your table or, or whatever, is not level, that paint just starts to slide away. So I really wanted to come up with a, a Lazy Susan that had its own leveling system on it. And I've done it. <laughs> um, but not only have I done the leveling Lazy Susan, I actually made it so you can actually change the top surface. So you can actually have small, medium, large, an extra large um, round plate on top. So no matter what size canvas you're working with, or I'm working with, <laughs> um, I can actually use any of the Lazy Susans. So um, yeah, I'd like to invite you to come along and watch what I've, what I've done. Um, I just want to say a special thanks to mum and dad. Um, they actually let me use their garage to build it because my garage is full of boxes. So, um, yeah, so thanks mum and dad for letting me use your garage. Um, and thank you everyone for joining me on episode number seven. Um, and yeah, I hope that you guys get something out of it. <laughs> thanks guys. Alrighty then, so here's all the products that we're going to be using today and as you can see, yes, there is a lot of stuff just here, but let me break it down for you a little bit and once I've broken it down, you will just, you'll think that yeah, there's actually not that much there at all. So let's start here with the, with the um, panels. So at, right here, there's five different panels, but there's four different sizes. So this panel and this panel just here, these two top ones, are exactly the same size. And the reason for that being is the bottom part of the Lazy Susan, the bit that doesn't spin, has to be of equal size to the top 
or smaller than the top. Because if the, if the smaller panel was on one of the bigger panels and that was the bit that you spun, what's gonna happen is when you spin and, and your paint starts to um, roll over the sides of it, the paint will actually get inside the mechanism and it'll cause the ball bearings inside the mechanism to, to seize up and you won't be able to um, use it anymore. So you have to remember that when making a Lazy Susan, the, the bottom panel has to be of equal size to the top or smaller than the top. Alrighty. This um, panel that I've got here, this plank of timber, um, I've only got that because this panel just here, that's for that panel there, it's actually a lot thinner than all the others. And when I get to, when I'm using that, you'll understand why I need that and why I say that this is um, thinner than the, the others. Because this one, this one, this one, and this one, they're all about um, two centimetres um, deep, whereas this is only one centimetre deep. So for what I'm needing to do, I need to have um, a plank of um, wood underneath it to sort of make it a little bit thicker. So, but when I get to that, it'll make a lot more sense. Alrighty. And for, for that, I will need some wood glue. Okay. So that's the only reason why I've got wood glue here. Um, if you if happen to find a panel that's thick enough, you don't need um, to add timber underneath and, and wood glue. And what I mean by thick enough is, so these just here, they're called um, insert nuts. And I'm actually gonna put the insert nut onto each of the, the top panels and also on the bottom panel. All right. So, and depending on um, what size um, bolt that you need will depend on what size insert thread that you need. Okay. So this insert thread here is for an M6 size and this insert is for a, an an M8 um, bolt. So they're exactly the same size on the outer, but on the inner, they're actually a different size. Okay. So we've got the mechanism here itself. This is the actual Lazy Susan mechanism itself. And Something like this, like literally only costs about $10. You can get different size ones. You can get round ones, um, like a big round one. Um, I saw at Bunnings Warehouse that that was for about $20. Um, but yeah, this is all that you need. So this is the Lazy Susan mechanism, okay? So we've got the mechanism. We've talked about the, the insert threads and the bolts. You also definitely need a round hole cutter, okay? And with the hole round cutter, that comes in very, very, very handy um, to actually finding the, the holes to, to actually bolt in on, on the other side. So um, when I get to it, it'll make a lot more sense. Okay, so we've also got these just here. These are the feet that are gonna make the, the bottom of the Lazy Susan be able to level out. So, and so the, these, this thread is an M8 thread. So I needed a M8 um, insert thread, okay. So this is what you need to actually make any surface level. I actually use um, this on a big um, oblong one or rectangle um, board. And I, I use that to sort of um, level out um, 
my surface when I'm doing like say a resin pour or anything like that. So, um, but I'll, I'll show you that when I when I do the um, silicon mat. Okay. So we got that. You will need two of the same size spanners or a shifter, whichever, and also a ratchet. I mean, you don't necessarily need the ratchet if you've got these three, but the reason why you need those is because you actually need a bolt that's at least two and a half size bigger than the insert thread. And then you also need two nuts. You need two nuts because you're actually gonna sort of thread them both on to this, okay? But when I, when I get to when we're using that, it'll make a lot more sense. You also need four little screws and that's to actually screw the actual mechanism to the bottom um, panel, okay? These are completely op optional, the washers, but I like to use the washers just to um, uh, make sure it, it, it lasts longer. Um, so you will need only four washers, but because I'm doing four different sized um, Lazy Susan heads, I've actually got a lot more of the inserts and also a lot more of the bolts. Okay, depending on if you get a um, bolt that requires a screwdriver or an Allen key, will depend if you need an Allen key or a screwdriver. You can actually get Allen key inserts to go in, in a ratchet um, screwdriver. Just makes life a lot easier rather than using an Allen key. Alrighty. You will also need a very, very small um, drill bit. And that's to basically um, make a, a pilot hole for the actual screws. You will actually need also a, a nine mil um, drill bit. And that is actually for both of them. Okay, so as I said before, the outer is actually um, the same size. It's the, the inside that's the smaller bit. So both the M8 and the M6 um, insert require a nine mil drill bit. Okay. You also need a drill. <laughs> um, this is completely optional. This is basically just a, a, a portable drill press and that just makes life a lot easier when you're trying to drill completely straight into it, into the hole, okay? I've got the jigsaw just there and that's literally just to cut this plank just here and I've also got some vice grips to hold down the plank, alrighty. Um, you will definitely need a pencil or a pen or a, or a, or a texture of any sort, doesn't really matter. Um, you will definitely need a ruler and 100% you will definitely need a set square, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure I've gone through everything. So now that I've gone through everything there, I apologize that it was such a long um, explanation, but um, you sort of needed to know what was going on here. Alrighty, so now that I've explained everything, now we can actually start um, getting down to business. All right, thanks guys. Alrighty then, so this is actually gonna be the bottom of the Lazy Susan, and with this one, we actually have to mark out on both sides because this is actually how we're actually gonna be able to level out 
the Lazy Susan, but then also attach um, the Lazy Susan together. So I'll start by measuring out the side for the, the Lazy Susan mechanism to sort of go on. And to do, to do that, but basically what we need to do is find the dead center of the, the round panel. And there is a quite easy technique to find the center of the panel. And basically what you do is you draw three lines around the outside at the same, same length, and then find the center point of those lines and then get your set square and then draw straight up from that center point on all three lines. So let's just use, say we'll use um, 12 inches, for example. Okay, so we've got 12 inches here. And half of 12 is six. So basically what we do, we just put a little marker at the six inch mark. Okay, now move it around. And again, we do another line at 12 inches. And again, half of 12 is six. So we put a little marking at the six inch mark there. Now, these lines can be very close to each other or far apart. So for example, this one is roughly around about three inches away from each other. What I might do, just to show you that it doesn't have to be like the same distance apart. I'll do this line here. And as you can see there, it's only about an inch away from there, but it's about four inches away from there. So let's do this line. So we've got a 12 inch line just there. Half of 12 is six. So put a little marker there. Alrighty, so now we get our set square out and basically what we're needing to do is draw three lines at a 90 degree angle straight up from there. Okay, so now we do the same on the other two lines. And this third line should line up straight on that center of the, the X. And there we go. There's the center of the circle. Okay, so this side is actually gonna be for the Lazy Susan mechanism. And being the, the bottom side of the Lazy Susan, the, the holes that are already in the mechanism, you need the holes that are closest to the center of the mechanism to be um, what you attach this panel to. So the top of the Lazy Susan is actually the furthest one away. And it'll make a lot of sense why it's the, it's the outside one when I do the next step. So basically what we need to do now is extend one of these lines out just a little bit because we need to make 
a 90 degree cross in the middle. So I'll just extend that just a little bit further. Okay, now we get our set square and we're gonna make a cross. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got that cross just there, we now get our mechanism and we mark out where we're going to put our pilot hole for the screws to go in. Okay, so these ones here is the, the pilot hole for the screws to go in to attach the mechanism. We also got to do another um, drill hole and that can be there, there, there or there as long as it's directly in the middle of these. So now that we've got that lined up, I'll just Pop a marker there. So we're actually going to drill a much bigger hole all the way through that with the round um, hole cutter. Okay. So let's get the drill. Okay. So we've got the drill. And this device here it's, it's not a necessary um, object, but it does come in handy to, to drill a completely straight hole. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring it down so we go a little bit past, because it's only just a pilot hole. And then with the stopper, so now that little stopper is not going to make me go all the way through to the other side. So we line up on there and then Now again. Okay, and then just for argument's sake, we'll do just a pilot hole just on this one as well, just so the drill bit has something to grip onto. Okay. So, with that, as you can see there, the drill holes are exactly in the right spot. So then, after I do this next couple of steps, that's when I'll screw the screws into it. Alrighty. So now, what we gotta do, we gotta drill a hole all the way through on this one just here. And this is where the the, ho the hole cutter comes into play. So we'll just unwind that. Pop 
Hang in there. And then tighten her on. There we go. Alrighty, so we've got the hole cutter on the actual drill bit. So now we can actually line it up and go straight through. But before we do that, we've got to put board down so we don't go through to the bench because it's dad's brand new bench and I apologize about the rain it just started raining so I apologize if you can't hear properly alrighty here we go And there we go. We've got a hole all the way through. Now the reason why we've got the hole all the way through is so when that's attached to there, like so, when we go to attach it to the other side of the lazy susan we can actually get through with the screwdriver and 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 bolt it on so that's the idea of that hole just there okay but we're not finished with this one yet because The whole objective of this one, this Lazy Susan, is to actually make it so it can be a levelling um, Lazy Susan. So what we need to do here is put some insert um, nuts or insert, insert threads in there so then we can actually use these um, feet to actually wind up or wind down so there's two different um, styles of insert threads both have the mechanism there to actually put a um, an allen key in but with this one I'm going to show you a different way which is actually a pretty easy way to actually put these into the into the timber and this is where this actually comes into play so what we're actually going to do is so we've got a bolt that's roughly around about two and a half size, sizes bigger than the insert thread itself. And then we've got two nuts here. So the idea of the two nuts is to actually act like a lock. So what we do is we put the bigger end of the insert thread onto the, onto the bolt first. So the small end is facing out from the bottom. So we simply wind it on like so till it's basically right at the, um, the end of the thread. And then we wind down the first nut and then wind down the second nut. And they actually act 
as a lock, so that's not going to go any further. So then once I've drilled the holes in this, then I can actually get my ratchet spanner, or you can use a spanner. Oh, sorry, a shifter or a spanner. And basically, then all we do is just wind it down till it gets to the to the nuts there. Once it's once it's all the way down to the nut, then we release the first nut, then release the second nut, and then literally we can actually just wind that straight out, and then that will actually be remaining inside the actual board itself. Okay, so I'll I'll drill the holes now, and then you'll see how easy it is to actually insert the insert thread by using a bolt with two nuts. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me just uh, change over the hole cut to the nine mil drill bit, and then we can have a bit more fun. Okay, so again, we need to do the same process as we did on here by using that technique to find the center. So this time I'll use I'll use 10 centimeters. Oh sorry, 10 inches. Just so you can see that it can be any size. And then we want to make a marking at about one and a half inches. Okay. So basically we just need to make a cross again. Might just use the other one, just so I've got something to lean on. Okay. But while I've got the other one there, I'm just gonna mark down, just so it doesn't go all the way through. And put our stopper there. Okay, so. Okay, so I'll go through this again.
Okay. So we've got a threaded bolt, which is about two and a half the size, two and a half the size of the actual insert thread. Then basically what we're doing, we're putting one nut on, wind it most of the way, put the second nut on, okay, then with the insert thread, the big end goes on first, because basically that's the end, that's the spot that you want facing out, okay, so then big end on first, so the little end is facing out, wind that on, Wind it back just so you're right at the, the tip. Wind the first nut down. So it's right up against it. Then wind the second nut down. Then turn them away from each other so they lock in to get each other. So like, they're not gonna move, okay? So now, all we do we put it in place, we get our ratchet um, shifter, and then all we're doing, is winding it on. So you can see that ain't going any further. And you're like, oh god, it's stuck now. No. So what we do is we get one spinner like so, get the other spinner, basically hold one down and release the top one. Okay. So, top one is released. And we're going to release the, the bottom one. Alright, so the bottom one is released. And now, we just wind it out. And there we go. Insert thread, perfectly in there, ain't going anywhere. So now, all we've got to do is repeat that process on the other three, and then we actually have the basically the levelling um, playing field. <laughs> that will then be a levelling board. There we go. So then,
There we go. Okay. So we go like that. So we need to wind this one up a bit. See that? Boom! Leveling Lazy Susan. You! Now, all we're going to do is attach that to there, then attach each of the, the tops to that, and then we have the first leveling Lazy Susan, which is also multi head. So let me put that on and then we can go. So this is the, um, the thread nut and the thread nut goes inside there and then that is the bolt that sort of goes into there. And by doing that, it actually makes it so you can actually change over the heads of the Lazy Susan with, with ease without inter interfering with the actual thread of the, the screw. So, yeah. So let me just um, screw these in. With this, you will actually need an Allen key because that Allen key fits in there like so. And then we're just gonna sort of put it in. Okay, so there's the first one. So, if you imagine that that's on the Lazy Susan, then we can actually just simply thread it in like so. Like that. Okay.
Okay, so what we've got here for the two other um, top panels, they're actually, this is actually a side table and this is a coffee table. As you can see here, I've taken the legs off. So I've taken the legs off. And now we can use these. Now the reason I'm showing you these is because I like to sort of show you um, little artist hacks, so to speak. And I got both of these for free from Facebook Marketplace. Lots and lots and lots of people give away furniture. So check out Facebook Marketplace and you can literally find yourself perfectly round panels. I mean, I could actually literally turn this into a Lazy Susan, like these two just here. This being the, the bottom piece and that being the top. So, I literally got that for free. Both of them for free on Facebook Marketplace. So there's my little artist hack for that one. <laughs> now, the beauty about these having legs on them, they've already been measured. So this point, this point, this point, this point is dead set center. So I can actually just draw across straight like that. Same with these, okay? So that's what we'll do. So now with this, remember it's the, the holes that are furthest away from the center. Not the closest, the furthest, because this is the top of the Lazy Susan that we're finding now. So we've got the board on the horses just here and I've got the vice grip on, on each horse just to make sure that the plank doesn't shift out of, out of position when I'm cutting it. And because I'm going to be sort of pushing that way with force with the um, jigsaw, I've got both horses up against the wall just so when I'm pushing against it, it's not going to sort of move out of the way. I've also got this um, guide here. I've, I've got it so it's right on on my line just there. So then when I'm actually sort of going across it, it's actually going to sort of keep it in position. So, alrighty. So, let's go. Now, I really wish that these horses are a little bit higher because this is actually really hurting my back. Alrighty, here we go. As you can see there, nice straight line. 
So now I can actually attach this to the bottom of um, the small coffee table or the small table. Um, so then I can then put the little um, grips into this. Alrighty. You. Alrighty then. So we've got the insert nuts on the three other um, panels. Um, but this panel here is a lot thinner than the others. So that's why I needed to bring in this bit of wood just here. So basically what I'm going to do is glue and screw this onto there. So then I can actually then put the, th the um, insert threads into this. Alrighty. So. So then. I can line them up. And then glue that on. Alrighty. So now that I know that that sort of lines up, I can put a little bit. All right, so I'm going to put something heavy on here. I mean, I can just use actually just that. And then when I come back tomorrow morning, I can uh, screw it into the into it so it's not going to sort of budge. Alrighty, so it'll be overnight for, for me, but it'll be two seconds for you guys. So see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Alrighty then, so it's the next morning and the glue has dried onto the bit of wood um, But what I'm going to do just for extra stability, I'm going to um, pop four screws um, Straight through into the into the timber as well just just to make sure it doesn't pull apart Alrighty then, so now that we've got the, um, the insert threads in, I've just taken the, um, the feet back out just so I can work on this. So we're going to attach the Lazy Susan mechanism now. Now remember, the bottom one, the holes on the mechanism are closest to the centre of the mechanism because as you can see here the outer circle actually lines up with the the hole that we've drilled all the way through okay so now we just get our screwdriver
And any time that you're screwing something in like this, it's always good to put the screws in halfway, just so you know that they're all lining up, and then you actually go from opposite to opposite, okay? Because if you go boom, 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 sometimes what will happen, it'll actually start to warp it out of place. So it's better to go opposite than opposite. All right, so I've already done the opposite and opposite. Now we do this one. Cool. So, for example, We line that up like so, and then we can pop it in in there. So that that's that goes the same on all of them. See that? See that? Like so. So yeah, so now that we're, we'll actually start putting the um, the bolts in, and you're actually able to see. Okay, so we'll line them up. Like so. So we've lined him up. I'll just line him back up. Okay, so now that we've got that one in play. Oh, that'll be right. Drop the... Uh... Got him there. Oh, dropped it again.
And then we're just gonna line him up. Yeah, we got one. Got two. Got three. And we got four. So yeah, so this is the bottom. So we can put our feet in. So you wind it all the way down until you can't go any further and then wind it back just a little bit, just so you've got a little bit of movement up and down. Okay. Okay, so now, as you can see here, I've wound them on all the way, so of course it's going to be it's going to be level but say if your table wasn't level let's make one completely off just to show you all right so say if this was actually um on your table and your table was out of whack and it was that that far out all your paint's going to sl slide off off your canvas so now now that we've got the feet there, there we go. The very first leveling Lazy Susan. Yeah. Boom! Yeah! But not only is it a leveling Lazy Susan, it's a multi-head Lazy Susan. So I can actually take this head off with these because I've got the insert threads and basically put on a completely different head. So let's just do that, just to show you. So we can see by that, that it just needs to be wound up a little bit on this side. So 
right, let's wind her up. There we go. Yee Boom, 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 boom. Again, first leveling Lazy Susan with a multi head. You. And then, lucky last. There we go. So we can see there that not level there, so need to bring this back one up a little bit. I might just spin it around just so I can get to it. Okay, so we need to bring this one up a little bit. Like so. And then Also, that one up a little bit. And there we have it actually down just a little bit I think sorry up up there we go boom lazy susan level
Alrighty, so here is the very first multi-head leveling Lazy Susan. Yew! Um, I'm actually really excited that this, ha this worked. Um, because it was a, an idea that I had in my head for a while and I'm so happy that I was able to get it to come to plan. <laughs> <clears throat> and guys, if you're wondering if it's stable when you give it a good spin, just check this out. I gave that a pretty good spin, so yes, it is stable. <laughs> Yew! And also guys, if you don't want the leveling system on this, and you just want a regular Lazy Susan, all you do is just ignore this step. This step was only to, to create the leveling system. If you decide not to create the leveling system and you just want the lazy Susan, you do all the other steps that I did, except for this one. So, and I mean, I can use this just as a normal Lazy Susan without, la without the leveling system. So, yeah. So, ha having, having the feet on there as, as the leveling um, system, that is completely optional. Like, you, you don't have to do that, but... Um, it's been on my mind for, for quite a long time and I, I, I knew it would work um, and you know what? I'm so, so, so happy that it worked. So, yeah. You have no idea, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. <laughs> well, um, I just want to thank you all for joining me on um, this episode. Um, it has been a lot of fun because, as I said, it's been something that's been in my mind for a very, very long time. And I'm so excited that I was able to make it real. So, yes, I just want to thank you again for joining me on this episode. And this is the fine art of distraction. You.